Hello everyone and welcome to AI Python. I'm back with another project on Python web scraping with Python. In this video, you will learn a Python program that will collect the latest news headline about coronavirus, especially about coronavirus, as well as it will also collect various stats about coronavirus, like total number of active cases, how many people have survived or cured, and how many have lost their lives. This program will also display all those stats on the screen. You can find the detailed content with the source code for this project on our website www.aipython.in as well as on our GitHub repository AI Python India. Thanks for subscribing this channel and in case if you are watching this channel for the first time then welcome to AI Python. If you find the content suitable, valuable and usable then please subscribe the channel. Give a thumbs up to the video. If you like the content, it definitely gives us a motivation to produce more informative content like this on a regular basis. If you are watching this channel on Facebook, then like AI Python's Facebook page from the link shown on your screen. And if you are watching it on YouTube, then hit a like button and do subscribe the channel. As you are aware of this devastating pandemic, which is coronavirus or COVID-19 or SARS-CoV-2, all are same. The entire world is locked down and came to almost halt since the disease originated in Wuhan city of China. Particularly for this video, I would not say that I am excited to share this code, but definitely I can say that with the help of this code, you can get the information about the various stats of coronavirus from various authentic sources such as WHO, Indian government, John Hopkins and Worldometer. So let's get started and jump into the code directly. So similar to other project, um, I have all imported Selenium. So I'm using Selenium for this web scraping. And uh, these are the same steps that I followed for all my tutorials. So in case if you're not aware, you can check out my other tutorial to, to understand about how to configure Selenium and all other things. Okay, so so just a quick introduction about this code. I am trying to get the data from this uh, link, which is a Google link. And Google has been collecting data about coronavirus from various authentic sources. Basically, I am getting data about the coronavirus from the Google and trying to print it in a nicely formatted way. Okay, so we'll start the code by getting the data, getting the website loaded. Uh, using wd.get get method and then we'll wait for the website to load now once the website is loaded I'll try to find out the tag h3 in case you are not aware uh, there are various method to get the data from a website to locate a particular element in the website there are various method uh, provided in selenium like uh, find the element by ID by name by class by CSS selector by XPath various methods are there but you have to analyze the website before collecting the data so in this uh, in this website I've ca I have uh, analyzed the website and found that all h3 tags have the header in all the h3 tag have information about the news headlines so my intention would be to get the news headline so I have collect I have collected all the news headlines in and stored it in cov news stored in a variable cov, cov news now uh, I am interested in getting the top 5 data so this is just to get all the top 5 news information in case if you want to increase the number of news or let's say you wanted 10 headlines then you can increase this number to let's say uh, 9 so that it starts start from 0 till 9 the 10 you'll get the 10 uh, top stories about coronavirus okay now I have often I have used the three websites which is worldometer and MOHFW which is Indian government and then um, this grain mart is getting the data from Johns Hopkins stats okay so these all are authentic websites so I'm collecting data from all of them okay by the way in case if you wanted to understand how the code will look like I'll just run the code for you and so that will become little clear to you that okay this is the code that will run and give you the data okay I will keep it as it is so that this crawl crawler basically will 
fetch the data it is just scraping the data and finding out the news and everything and then uh, from every sources like world meter it gives a number of cases recovered in death so from government of india it is giving this data and then from john hopkins uh, this is giving the data about the number of cases recovered and finally the who global stat which says how many total number of cases worldwide uh, there is no data about recovery in the who website and the total number of death cases reported and analyzed okay and the total number of countries got affected which is 212 okay if uh, this this is the output of this code understood this is just all pre-formatted data so the information which is obtained in raw form get aligned and the data is available it will be displayed in more human representable format so we have collected data from news site and all the news headlines got collected and they those are displayed here okay getting corona okay so the all the news headlines are display using this formatting now uh, intention would be to get the data from other sources like world meter uh, from mhwf and the grain mart okay so this is the step like first to get the from get the data from site 2 site 2 is this one and then site 3 and then site 4 and then finally i am also getting the data from who you have to analyze the website that the first thing that you should do before scraping the data because data is arranged in html and styled by css code so you want we you need to understand the uh, architecture of a website how how the elements are placed in which division or span or maybe header or maybe with tag or maybe some class you have to find and analyze and i have also analyzed before uh, building this code I, I i went through each website and find out how can i get the information if you see uh, all the websites like site 1 site 2 the first method i used is by class name in website site 2 that is in world meter i've used class method to get the information while in site 3 which is uh, moh fw i have not used the class method but i have used xpath because that was the data was arranged in such a way that it could not be retrieved through class name so i have to go through xpath and similarly if you see uh, fourth website i can also get the data through xpath however this is not common for all the website you have to analyze the website and then find out which is the best method and anyway the documentation of selenium is available and so that in case if you want to go through it you you can you can go through it and then find out what are the various method to locate element and then further navigate through the website and get the data i hope this is uh, clear because almost the method that I've used for website 1 is same as method for website 2 as well as website 3 and uh, this is just a formatting which I have tried to find out uh, to try to provide the space in between so that the code get adjusted and the result are displayed aligned in that particular column finally I have collected the data from uh, WHO and then found out the number of confirmed cases and confirmed death and then involved countries in that one so I could not find the how many people have recovered in WHO website so whatever information I have collected I have collected through all legitimate website and these informations can be trusted upon you can trust upon these information this will definitely give you an insight about uh, the statistics which is keep on changing so every day you run this code you will see a new stats coming up and it will be showing or uh, showing the stats of that particular day at, at that particular time so in simple way or mom the moment you run this code execute this code you will get the latest available data from all these authentic sources i hope you like the video if you like the video and wanted to help others then do share this video with them also if you want us to make videos on a specific topic then do let us know we will definitely try to create one for you. I will share the code for this project on my website aipython.in very soon. Share this video to someone who need it. Thank you so much. See you next time with more amazing Python project. Till then keep learning and keep growing.